everybody needs a place to call home, even animals. And of course, since most animals can't buy or rent or have any concept of money, they have to build. And build they do. And some of the structures that they come up with are pretty amazing. From nests that naturally cleans waters to mounds that are perfectly aligned with the poles, here are the 15 most amazing nests in the animal kingdom. Number 15, Beaver Dams. Beavers are famous for building dams. These wood and grass structures are built to flood a certain area with water, while the beavers use the underwater entrance of the dam in order to avoid predators and make fishing easier. Not only good for the beaver, they're good for the environment as well. These beaver dams provide tremendous environmental benefits for wildlife, water quality, and groundwater recharge. The wetland created behind the dam provides great habitat for wildlife, including birds and amphibians. Water quality in the streams downstream improves as sediment and nutrients are filtered in these wetlands. And finally, the water stored behind the dam helps recharge groundwater levels by allowing the water to filter down into the ground rather than simply slip in by the stream. Number 14. The Bio Weaver's Nest. These lively and amazing birds belong to the same family as sparrows and munias and are a common resident in Southeast Asia. Often considered a pest by farmers in rice-growing countries, they're known to feed on all types of grass seeds. It's the males of these species that are the engineers. The male bioweavers work tirelessly to build not one, but at least two to four nests during their breeding season, as they're known to have a harem of at least two to four breeding females. Might sound interesting, but the females always do have the last say whether the nest is up to their standards. A female will not accept any shoddy work and will refuse to even enter a substandard nest. Number 13, the Vogelkop Bowerbird's Bower. The Vogelkop Bowerbird is a bit of an oddity in the bird kingdom. You see, instead of building nests, it builds some sort of a hut on the ground called bowers. And this bower serves one purpose and one purpose alone, to attract and impress the ladies. The bird actually decorates its bower with various colorful things. And it seems that it has an eye for design because these bowers are always color coordinated. Local females regularly visit neighborhood bowers to compare design choices, then base their mating decisions on which display makes the best overall impression. For bowerbird males, then, it's the architectural skills that count. Number 12. The Weaver Ants Nest. There are many kinds of weaver ants and they can be found all over the world. However, all of them have one thing in common. All of them are able to weave amazing nests. They normally use leaves as the main building block for their nests, and observing them on the job really is a sight to behold. They painstakingly fold leaves in on themselves, holding them with their mandibles and legs to stay in place, then binding them with silk to keep them in place. These nests come in various sizes. Some are tiny, comprised only of a single leaf folded in on itself, while others can reach sizes of up to half a meter and are comprised of hundreds of leaves. Number 11, the Swallow's Nest. Some swallow species use more traditional materials in building their nests. The common things that they use include twigs, leaves, and parts of abandoned nests that were already made. However, some species prefer to use a different kind of material, something that the bird produces themselves, their own saliva. These swallows build their nests in hard-to-reach areas, like underneath overhanging cliffs or on high, nearly vertical cave walls. They do this to keep their nests safe from predators. However, there is actually a high demand for these nests to be used in cooking. Bird's nest soup is made from these saliva nests and is considered a delicacy, especially in Asian countries. Retrieving these nests from cave walls is dangerous work, and many have died doing so. This makes bird's nest soup quite the expensive delicacy. Number 10. The Sociable Weaver's Commune. In Africa's Kalahari Desert, sparrow-sized birds called sociable weavers create enormous nesting structures that act like avian apartment complexes, housing weaver families by the hundreds. The nests themselves do an amazing job of staying cool in summer and warm in winter, which may be why a half dozen other bird species vie for unoccupied nest chambers. The interlopers include barbets, tits, lovebirds, finches, and the pygmy falcon. Over the years, the birds' droppings enrich the soil with nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, resulting in the trees growing more leaves and providing more shade than trees without weaver nests. Number 9. The European Redwood Ants Anthill. These ants can be found throughout Europe with the exception of the most southern parts. The distribution of the redwood ant is wide, from the middle parts of the northern European area all the way to East Mongolia. 
They build their anthills in huge mounds on forest floors, and the colony will often build several mounds interconnected with the main hill, and would move to the adjacent mounds if the main one is damaged beyond repair. Number 8. The Montezuma Oropandola Harem Montezuma Oropandola males love females. In fact, one mate just simply isn't enough for one of these Lotharios. In fact, a single male may have up to 20 or more mates, and all of them live together in a single community. The nests themselves aren't really that special, but the fact that a single community of these birds can comprise of a hundred or more nests is simply mind-boggling, especially with just one male bird overseeing it all. Females build these nests, which may hang three feet or more below the branch. It's thought that this long, deep shape protects the young from predators and prevents eggs from falling out of the nest in heavy winds. Number 7. The Red Oven Bird Nest the red oven bird is a medium-sized oven bird in the family Fernaridae. They are common in eastern South America and is the national bird in Argentina. They can be found in savannas, second-growth scrub, pastures, and agricultural land. Its range includes southeastern and southern Brazil, Bolivia, Paraguay, Uruguay, and the northern and central Argentina, extending as far south as northern Patagonia. These birds are so named because of the nest they build, which looks like old-fashioned clay ovens. They're even made of clay with a little bit of straw and twigs mixed in. They're often placed on a tree or man-made structure such as fence posts, telephone poles, or buildings. Pairs remain together throughout the year and will work on the nest during that time. Nests can be constructed in as little as five days, but usually take longer, occasionally months to complete. Number 6. The Wasp's Nest Wasps make their nests from chewed wood pulp and saliva, giving them distinctive papery walls. Nests are usually built in sheltered spots with easy access to the outside. You can often find wasp nests in wall cavities, roof spaces, under eaves, in bird boxes, sheds, or even garages. Most social wasps aren't particularly fuzzy when it comes to finding a spot to settle down and build their new home. All they need is somewhere dry, safe, and structurally sound enough to support a nest. Providing for herself, the queen settles on a location and starts to build. She constructs using wood mixed with saliva. This forms a malleable pulp that is perfect for molding. The queen then lays eggs into the hollow spaces, also known as the cells, that she creates. The eggs hatch and grow to become her first worker wasps. Number 5. The Osprey's Nest The osprey is found on every continent except Antarctica. In North America, they nest along the coast and large inland lakes, and recently they've taken to nesting near rivers as well, and with good reason. Osprey feed primarily on live fish, which they catch from the water by using their long hooked talons. An osprey can plunge so forcefully into the water that it will completely submerge. Osprey construct their nests at the top of dead trees, atop power poles, on man-made nesting platforms, and sometimes on buoys, chimneys, or other structures. Basically, give them a tall structure that looks too unstable to climb and they'll build a nest there. The nests are most often used year after year and can become up to 10 feet high as more nesting materials are added to each breeding season. Number 4. The Bee Hummingbird's Nest Bee hummingbirds are the smallest birds in the world, so small in fact that they're often mistaken for insects. They are native to Cuba and are found in dense forests and along woodland edges. Like the bee hummingbird itself, their nests are tiny with a diameter of less than an inch. They're made from lichen, bark, and cobwebs and lined with soft plant materials. Two eggs the size of a garden pea are then laid and incubated for approximately three weeks. Babies are born blind and also without feathers, but leave the nest at around 18 to 24 days after hatching, once their wing feathers have fully formed. Number 3. The Woodpecker's Nest one of the main reasons why animals build nests is to keep themselves and their young safe from predators. And if there is a nest builder who really knows how to keep their young safe, it's the woodpecker. Many woodpeckers chisel out deep cavities and tree trunks in order to lay their eggs and raise their brood. The cavities, hollowed out by the birds, vary in size, depending on the species of woodpecker. The chamber of a tiny downy woodpecker descends about a foot from the opening, while the pelated woodpecker may chip out a chamber two feet deep. Both definitely make it hard, or even impossible, for egg snatchers to get to their eggs. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's pick is a nest that you probably wouldn't want to see when you're walking out in the woods. What nest could I possibly be talking about? Well, find out more next with number two. The Beehive. If there's a nest that literally does everything, it's definitely the Beehive. 
These structures serve a lot of purposes. House, food storage, incubator, nursery, and fortress. They're made of a single material and the bees make it themselves. Beeswax. Honeybees make beeswax from eight wax producing glands on their abdomen or belly. First, they eat a little of their own honey, then use the sugar content of the honey and convert it into wax. Once the wax is made, they use their feet to collect it or scrape it from their belly, chew it up a bit, and then form perfect hexagonal cells. I knew this is all being created by their little feet. They make sheet after sheet with a precise spacing of about one quarter inch between sheets. This way they can walk between them and tend to the needs of the hive. The spacing also helps maintain a proper temperature. The hexagonal cells have the simplest purpose, to store their precious possessions, brood, honey, and pollen. Over a thousand years ago, a Roman scholar proposed that the hexagon shape in a beehive allows for more shared walls, resulting in less time and energy spent on creating each cell. More recently, there's even been mathematical proof known as honeycomb conjecture that shows the more compact shape of a hexagon in a honeycomb cell than the less energy and beeswax is needed to produce it. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Termite Mounds A single termite can be barely bigger than the moon of a fingernail, and its semi-transparent exoskeleton as vulnerable to sunlight as to being crushed by a kid in flip-flops. However, in groups of millions or two, termites are formidable architects, building mounds that can reach 17 feet and higher. The 33 pounds or so of termites in a typical mound will, in an average year, move a fourth of a metric of soil and several tons of water. One species of termite even manages to orient their mounds in perfect alignment with the magnetic north and south, and they do all that without a compass. Which of these nests put your house to shame? Let us know down below in the comments. Also make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.